We've tested quite a few air rifles on Zombie Go Boom, but the Evanix Max ML Bullpup Air Gun is the baddest we've tested so far. And at 29.3 inches, it's also the most compact out of the bunch. This bad boy shoots a 9mm lead pellet at over 1,000 feet per second. That's a hefty round going supersonic, which does make it a bit loud, but its bang is well balanced by its incredible stopping power. This is no target shooter. It's made for straight up hunting. Reloading is a breeze with its 7 round magazine and side cocking action. It also comes with a Picatinny rail for whatever optics you prefer which you will be able to afford because you'll be saving some serious ammo cash as you can buy 100 rounds for only 20 bucks. This thing is obviously beautiful and it definitely has what it takes to get into your target's chest cavity, but can it get into a zombie's head? Zombie go boom, kick undead ass. You saw us try an elite level airsoft gun against the zombie, then we tried a high velocity 22 caliber air gun against the zombie. Now it's time to bring this bad daddy into the action. It's the Evonix Max ML Bullpup PCP 9mm air gun, and it probably has what it takes to kill a zombie. But just to make sure, let's find out. Before we make a ZGB Ivanhead go boom though, let's try and see what it's gonna do to this bleeding zombie industries target. Let's see if we can make a zombie go boom. <laughs> Are you, can you believe that? Can I grab it? I'm gonna grab it. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Here's the round. It hit the skull. And it, it stopped it. Uh, oh, no. It definitely... Alright, I'm gonna cut it open to see what kind of damage we did to the skull. But that's incredible. All right. So, it hit the skull. It went almost all the way through, but not quite. The, the forehead, like we've said time and time again, is pretty thick. And it actually managed to stop this round, which is pretty ridiculous. Well, it definitely did a lot of damage. It didn't go into the cranial cavity, but the amount of force that was received is definitely enough to do some serious, serious amounts of brain damage. That shot to the forehead caused some massive, massive hemorrhaging, which you can see right here in the eyeball. It's bleeding like crazy. We don't know if it's a kill, but it's very possibly a kill. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shoot the temple or the temporal bone in order to see if that's a kill. Entry wound right here. It's a massive hole. It exited. It shot bone all the way through the cranial cavity. Look at that. That is a massive, oh my God. That is a massive exit wound. Just so you guys know, these skulls are actually thicker and stronger than a human skull. And the reason why we do that is so that we know that if you can get through this, you can get through the real thing. It doesn't matter if a zombie's fresh or decayed or whatever. If you can destroy an Ivan head, you are prepared. And this gun has just gone through and through a skull, a thick, thick skull, 
and managed to create that ridiculous exit wound right there and it punched bone all the way from the front to the back. Another thing that you guys should notice is because of all of this brain damage that we've caused with the 9mm, it's actually made the hole from the 22 from the last episode start bleeding. So there's a, there's <laughs> there is a ton of just like craziness going on inside of the head absolutely in line with what a firearm would do it went through the ivan head hit our backstop right over there bounced all the way back and landed on the floor right here and and it has very very slight deformation almost looks like it hasn't even been fired so this is 100 percent a kill let's uh let's shoot it again Right here. So the 22 had a bit of a problem getting into the cranial cavity. This 9, no problem whatsoever. No exit hole though. The round is embedded somewhere inside of the skull. That's what the round looks like before. This is the one that got stopped in the forehead and this is the round that went all the way through the Ivan head. I kind of want to shoot it in the face again just to see if we can get it through the hardest part of the skull. Ow. We're good. It hit my elbow. What? You yeah. got hit with a bullet? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. These iron heads are tough. Okay, yeah. This is what I was looking for. Through the orbit and into the cranial cavity. That was one shot. Definitely a kill there. Um... This one that hit the bridge of the nose didn't go through. Where else? Here's another one on the forehead did not go through. And here's one I just found that uh, was probably this one, and it got lodged somewhere in the in the right orbit, but uh, it didn't go through. All right, so we're gonna be doing a breakdown where we talk about the damage that. Ivan sustained from that air gun, but in order to do that adequately, we kind of have to do an autopsy, executioner style, which means we have to cut this head open and look inside of it. Well, what better weapon to do that with than this executioner 2.0 prototype, which you can pre-order, by the way, by clicking on the link in the description below. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so we got a pretty smooth cut. Here's the cranial cavity, and here's the skull. Thicker than a human skull, harder than a human skull. So all the damage that you saw here is nerfed a little bit, just because we want to make sure that what we test does the job. So I'm going to scoop out the blood from this Ivan head. I'm actually just going to spill it up. Here you go, Nate. Thanks, dog. All right, all right, so we got some rounds here. At least one of them we were able to recover. You can see that the round is deformed a lot. It has a lot of just notches and nicks and that means that the round bounced inside of the head quite a bit before coming to a halt. The front of the cranial cavity right here is completely cracked. It has openings and just, it's broken all over the place. And even if the round didn't go inside of it, it created an incredible amount of brain damage, an incredible amount of hemorrhaging, and possibly a zombie kill, even though the round didn't penetrate very far at all. And I just cut myself on the skull. You see that hole? Mm -hmm. That's the one that went to the back of the head, all the way in. 
lots of these rounds went in and just bounced around, which is worse for the zombie. You can tell all over the inside of the skull, there are some serious, serious fractures that are actually quite sharp, which would definitely compromise the soft brain inside. And the best thing about this thing is that you can get 100 rounds for only 20 bucks. I am in love and I want one so, so bad. And I also do hear that they come in 50 caliber. So Pyramid Air, pyramidair.com, maybe you should send this one so we can test it on the show. I would be so, so happy if you allowed us to do that. Well, I guess that concludes our super awesome air gun extravaganza. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You got to see a 22 caliber air gun kill a zombie. You got to see a 9 millimeter air gun destroy a zombie. You got to see an elite airsoft gun mess a zombie up. And all of this was thanks to American Air Gunner. Click on your right to check out American Air Gunner. Click on your left to check out a playlist of air gun tests. Subscribe button right below me. Don't miss any of the action and punch the living crap out of that like button because that really helps. With another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom, I'm Chuck Murray. We will see you next time.